Hey guys, Andrew John Hunter here, back with another video, and today we're going to do something a little different. Now, I, th I thought I'd show another collection. Now, it's not a, um, it's not a Transformers or plush collection, it's a, it's a video game collection. Now, I did do a video game collection a few years back with my GameCube collection, and I realized that I haven't done my PlayStation 2 collection, and here's Lolo. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to scurry him off to the side. Now, Lolo, Daddy's trying to film. Lolo, how are you doing? Yeah, that's how, that's Lolo right there. He's a fatso. Okay, now on to my collection. Now, keep in mind that I'm the one of those people who, who had more games based off of movies or TV shows than original games. I do have some, but I never play with them that much, but... Let's just get started. Now, I don't really have a specific, I don't have I don't have a memory of what my first PlayStation 2 game was, but so we're not going to go we're just going to go in order, starting with this. Okay, here is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now, I didn't have this game when I was little. I did not I, did, I didn't I didn't play this when I was younger, okay? At the time, well, at the time, I mean, when I as I got older, I was I I still had my PlayStation, and this was and this was before I got GTA on the uh, PlayStation Four, so it's right there. And the next game is an all-time classic: SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom on PlayStation. And yeah, I had this copy for a long time since the day I got it. As you can see. And yes, I have played Battle for Bikini Bond Rehydrated, and I well, here's here I'm gonna give a quick a brief thoughts on it. I think it's a very faithful remake, but it's not po it's not it doesn't have it's not polished here and there. And one thing I don't like about that game is that the bosses are not replayable. I mean, that's the one thing I do not like about this game. Uh, I do I do not like about that remake. And despite it advertising uh, un un unused un restored content that was unused from the original. The only the only content that was really restored was some unused lines, and the Ro and Robo Squidward is only available in the multiplayer, which was pretty much a pretty waste potential if you if you ask me. Now I want to Barnyard, and yes, I, 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 this is not my original copy. I got this copy back in 2015. I don't, I'm not sure what happened with my old copy, but it was it was the oh, oh wait it was a GameCube it was the GameCube version, but that version got all worn and scratched up, scratched up, and so I'm stuck with the PlayStation version, which is still a pretty. Uh, it, this is an open world sandbox, which I'm kind of hoping that this game gets remade. Whoa, Lolo, no uh, no attacking. You naughty cat. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the next one. And there are some... Whoa! Someone's trying to swap me. Okay, here's... Here's a game that I never really played. Simpsons Road Rage. I, I opened this game up and played it, and... That was all I really known from it. Okay, here's... And here is the Bible game, which... I, it's, a, it's a decent game, though I've only, only played it twice. Now, here is one game that I played, uh, this is one game that wasn't based off a cartoon, and it was an original creation. The Adventures of Darwin. Oh boy, did I love this game. This was a game, this was a present from my cousin when, I, when we were younger. And for some reason, it's not clicked, clicked into place. There we go. The Adventures of Darwin. If any of you, st if any of you, you, I think you can still find this game on eBay, and, you, and you'll definitely like it. I, I definitely have fond memories of this. All right, now on to the and this was here we go. Shrek the Third, where where it was based off a not so good entry of the third film. Now, but it was still a fun game. In fact, I kind of enjoyed it more than Shrek Two, the game. I don't know why. Maybe because I played this more. And now here's. This is where my this is where the sponsor movie game was in here, but I'm not sure. Oh wait, this is another copy that I've had. I actually I, I actually have two copies of place of the SpongeBob movie game. I don't know why. Now here's 
a game that I never noticed, but I found another copy of when I was younger. Power Rangers Dino Thunder. This is a game where we don't play as Power Rangers, but you play as the Zords. And this was when... This was when Dino Thunder was around. And I was... And Dino Thunder was already cancelled was already cancelled when I played this. And in this game, you don't play as the Power Rangers, you play as the Zords. And I don't play this game as much as I used to. Okay, now on to uh, another game that's based another game that's another game that's based off a movie that I don't think har that hardly that I don't think that, that everyone hardly remembers. Over the Hedge. Yeah, this was a game that I really liked to play. It's pretty much a multiplayer style game where you could play as the four as four characters and you beat the crap out of mind controlled animals. Yeah. Okay, now on to another game. A it's Power Rangers Super Legends 15th anniversary. This is a game where I liked it as a kid, but I kind of realized that it isn't as good as I remember. Probably because you do the exact same thing. Run down an air, run through an, an area, experience the boss, um, beat, beat up some enemies. Well, actually, here how, here how, here's how this game plays out. You start off as a Power Ranger. You run, you run across each stage that in the season that it was based on. You you come across a few enemies. You you eventually you you eventually come across the boss that you're you're gonna face off in Megazord mode, and then from there, it's and the in in a level is kind of progressive of two stages. After the second stage, you after the second stage where you beat him up, where you beat the boss again, you face him off, and he he grows into a thirty story version of himself, and you face him off. Rinse and repeat for five for five levels. This game isn't bad, but it it gets kind of boring after the first level. Okay, now on to SpongeBob SquarePants, Nicktoons, Globs of Doom. Now, guys, I actually used to. Now, I'm not a Nicktoons fan. I don't hate it, but I never really got into the series itself. The only games that I had were the original, which I hardly played, and Globs of Doom. This is the game that I played the most. And, and honestly, it's a pretty fun game. However, don't play the Wii version because from YouTubers I've seen like the Fossilizer, that game, that has a very annoying save file corruption glitch. So you're best off with the, the other console versions, like the PlayStation 2 version. Okay, now to another one. And this is based off of a movie. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is, a, this is another fun game. This is another game that I have fond memories of. But I never completed it. Okay, now, oh wait, this, uh, and again, I have a weird, another copy of Globs of Doom, and I don't know why. Ah, here's another, here's another classic, Thrillville, Off the Rails. This was a game that, oh, I kind of forgot that the game, I don't, I don't know why I still have the, uh, the, this, this, this game cover, because, uh, because for some reason, the di I guess the disc got lost after a while. But seriously, my brother and I loved playing this game. We 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 essentially loved building the roller coasters, the mini games, and we loved making the roller coaster stop at one end, and the rail, the, and then the roller coaster just flies off the rails and comes crashing down. Now here's a here's another one. Scooby Doo Unmask. Now, out of all the Scooby Doo games, whether it be um, uh, um, Knife 100 Frights, Mystery Mayhem, and Unmasked. This is the one I played the least. I don't know why. This game isn't bad. It's actually very fun to play, but it's not as memorable as the uh, the two I just mentioned. And oh, here I I I still have the GameCube version. Okay, here's a here's another game that was based on a movie that was based off of a Dr. Seuss book, but failed pretty badly. The Cat in the Hat. Well, the movie itself might might not have been the greatest. In in fact, it might have been a a failure if you ask me. But the game itself, that but the, this video game adaptation is pretty fun. Okay. I don't. And and again, I do have the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. And here's another game. And here's another game. Snoopy Snoopy versus the Red Baron. This game is, out of all the PS games, this one is, was easily my favorite. And it's pretty underrated, if you, if you ask me. If you find us on eBay, definitely pick it up. And oh dear, my, 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 the stack of, uh, of, of 
PlayStation 2 covers just collapsed. Okay, now on to probably my favorite Scooby-Doo game, Night of 100 Frights. This game is a classic. I'm just gonna say right, say it right off the bat. And it was made, and it was made by the same cup. It was made by the same people who made Battle for Bikini Bottom and the movie game. If you and you'll have a and this is the and this cover unlike let me let me show you a comparison up from the PlayStation 2 and the King GameCube. The the colors on here are more sharp, and while this one is it's probably due to age, it's more faded. But that's not all. If you look at the back, the screenshots are quite different from from what they are in the final game. Like the creeper is in the laundry room. The Black Knight is. Pretty scary. Is he, he's a he's a he has a reddish shade of black and he has yellow irises. Everything else kind of see, seems to say, but the characters like Fred, Velma, Daphne are in different positions. Oh, and Scooby and Shaggy are on here as well. I, I find that kind of weird. Okay, now. Now, so, now keep in mind, some of the, I don't, the games that I have don't have their original cases and are in translucent cases. And here's Monsters, Inc., based off of the Pixar film. This is a pretty fun game. And I'm just gonna, and there's not much I can say, but this is a game that I've only completed once or uh, around tw two times. All right, now on to another classic. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. Oh boy, is it is this, is this, is this a good adaptation of a film or, or or movie game? I'm sorry. I mean, let's just say that this game doesn't say a full blown AAA, AAA platformer for nothing. You should you should you I I'm and I'm hoping that this game gets remastered someday. I mean, Battle for Bikini Bottom got re, got remastered, so I hope that this game gets remastered too. Okay, here's another favorite of my brothers. The Sims 2. This is a game that got him in the interest of the Sims franchise in general. And I used to have, and, and I used to have, um, the, I used to have The Sims Pets Life and these, I'm not sure what game that was, but it, this is a game where you're stranded on an island and you try to survive. That game I never completed and I always end up dying. But, and, and the, the Sims 2 and Pets Life are pretty fun games. Okay, here's another, here's my, here's another, here's another game based off of a movie. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Another case where the game is kind of better than, than, than the original film. This is, this was my first Transformers game. It's pretty much a, it's not, it's kind of like the one with, with the, um, DLC characters where you, but this one's kind of funner than the one, than the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 ones. Because the gameplay actually changes, unlike the, unlike, the, unlike the other one. Okay, here's another game that's in a translucent case. Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Um, I guess this game is actually is not too bad. I, I liked it. Okay, and last but not least is Shrek 2. I, I didn't play this game that much. I, for some reason, I played um, Shrek, Shrek the Third more than Shrek 2, and I don't know why. And for some reason, these games are rattling around pretty easily. Okay, that's my PlayStation 2 game collection, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with your friends, and don't forget to click the bell so that way you won't miss out on future uploads. Bye-bye.